England have beaten Germany. Yes, I didn't say that incorrectly. I said that correctly. England have beaten Germany in a football match. Mate, last night was one of the, not the best performances, no, absolutely not one of the best performances, but one of the best feelings ever, mate. When Harry Kane scored that goal, to seal it, oh my God, oh my God, it was incredible. The performance itself wasn't really the best. I thought we were slow at times. I thought um, we didn't really utilize our strengths that as well as we could have, but saying that, we got the job done. We were solid, so, so solid at the back. Still yet to concede a goal. And in all fairness, I've blasted Gareth Southgate a, a, a couple of times on Twitter and to my mates. He got it right last night. At the time, I didn't think he did. But looking back at it and analyzing the game, I think he did get it right. The five at the back was a great call to match them uh, in terms of formation. The two in midfield at the start, I didn't think would be good enough. I didn't think would be experienced enough. I thought Henderson had to play instead of, um, probably instead of Phillips. But again, I was proved wrong. Calvin Phillips and Declan Rice did very, very well in that midfield, apart from the one time when they let Goretzka go through in the first half. Um, and that man again, Sterling, turning up. Raheem Sterling, turning up. Um, I didn't think he should start. Well, on performances, I didn't think he should start. On goals, I think he should have started. And that's the only reason I think he did start, because he's the one to score goals. 15 goals in his last 20 England appearances for Raheem Sterling. And you know what? Last night, it was the performance was there as well. At times, he was sloppy, gave the ball away. He gave the ball away for Muller's uh, big, big chance, which we'll get on to in a little bit. At times, he was sloppy, but overall, it was a much better performance for, from Raheem Sterling last night. He was brilliant on the ball. He ran at the, the Germany defenders. He picked up pockets of space to create space for the overlapping fullbacks, which we'll get onto in a second as well. And took his goal very, very well. That's a classic Guardiola goal and a classic finish that we've seen from him many times at City. And you know what? Fair play. Fair play to Raheem Sterling. I didn't think he should have started um, ever since the first game against Croatia where, yeah, he scored, but he wasn't very good. Um, and you know what, fair play to Gareth Southgate, he got it right, he did get it right, I didn't think he would have, um, but he has, and England are into the quarter-finals of the European Championships, I don't know why I said it like that, England are in the quarter-finals of the Euros, and we play Ukraine next, if there's ever a chance to get to a final, which I've got some big news about, by the way, coming soon. Is there ever a chance to get to the final of an international competition? It was the World Cup. If it wasn't the World Cup, it's now. We have to capitalize on this. We've got Ukraine, and then we've got either Denmark or Czech Republic in the semi-final. If we don't get to the final, then we've done something seriously, seriously wrong, but we've got a great chance to get to the final. Let's talk about the game itself. England obviously lined up in a 5-2-3 or a 3-4-3, whichever way you want to talk about it. Um, and as I said previously, I, th I think it was the, the right way to go. We matched them formationally. We stopped their overlaps. That's what Southgate talks about in his pre-match press conference. The ability that they have on the overlaps with Gorsons and Kimmich. We nullified them completely. And in the game against Portugal, when Germany ran riot, Gorsons was their main player. Gorsons on that left-hand side overlapping was their main player and we kept him very, very quiet all game. The same with Kimmich. So very, very good formationally from Gareth Southgate to match them. I think it was the right decision. Um, and tactically, I think we got it right. I would have liked to see Grealish start, as would, have, as would everyone. Um, but he didn't and he came off the bench and he proved why he should start. He, he was on the pitch for 20 odd minutes and he was heavily involved in both goals, got one assist and played the, the pass to Shaw to set up the first goal. So I think Grealish has to start, whether he will start on that right wing, because he's not going to drop Sterling for the next game, I'm not sure. But 
he got the substitutions right. Gareth Southgate got the substitutions right. If Grealish wasn't starting, he had to come off the bench at some point. And he did come off the bench and he made a huge, huge impact, which is what substitutions are for. So fair play with that. And finally on England, Harry Kane to get his first goal in a game where he was almost non-existent once again for the fourth game running. To get his first goal, that could be huge for us. I think that could be the, the, one of the biggest moments in the, this whole competition for England. Harry Kane getting off the mark. If he can continue that form, get that confidence up, pick up positions like we've seen him do for Spurs every single season for the last like 20 seasons, it se 20 seasons it seems. If he can pick up those positions like he did towards the end of the game last night when he scored that goal, then he can be very dangerous for us, for us and that goal could propel him and England to win in this competition. If Harry Kane's on it, we always have a chance in every single game and hopefully now Harry Kane will be on it. As for Germany, I was pretty disappointed with Germany. They had a big, big chance from Thomas Muller um, in the side the second half. And yeah, apart from that and Goretzka going through, which John Stones, he fouled him, but he made a, a good recovery tackle. Apart from that, they didn't really create much. I think Havertz had a shot which Pickford had to save and Werner had a shot, but that's what, four clear cut chances. Apart from that, they didn't really offer anything and we were good value for that win. We deserve that win. On the balance of the game, I think we deserve that win. Um, and yeah, I, I did expect more from Germany. I did expect more from Germany and I did expect it to be a harder game than it was. I think credit has to go to us. We have to have credit go to England because of the way that we defended. We defended very, very well. Harry Maguire was colossal at the back alongside John Stones. And Kyle Walker as well, a name, a word for Kyle Walker going into centre back, uh, three at the back, which he's probably never really played before, three at the back as a centre back. He did very, very well. And that pace that he has, is is very important for every single uh, for every single game that England play, and I wouldn't be surprised if, if Southgate stayed with the five at the back for the next game. I'm not going to lie, because we did look very very solid once again. Zero goals conceded, brilliant. As for Germany, yeah, as I was saying, I expected a bit more from Germany. I'm not going to lie to you, I expected more, um, but at the same time. Credit to England. We defended very, very well. We nullified their threats. Werner, the fact that it, Werner was removed so quickly uh, inside the second half was spoke volumes, I think. The fact that they had to bring Serge Nabry on to try and find a way through a bit more pace and trickery, I thought, thought that spoke volumes as well. So we defended very, very well. And I'm so, so over the moon. Honestly, so over the moon. For this side we've got so so much talent bro so much talent do not waste it do not waste it we have the ukraine and then either czech republic or denmark in the semi-final and then we can get to a final which will be played at wembley and you never know what happens in a final even if we play belgium we're probably not going to be favorites to win that game but you never know what happens in a final especially at home especially at home so huge result Huge performance from um, certain players, especially Jack Grealish. Jack Grealish has to has to start, in my opinion. We have to find a way to get him into this team because of the impact he has. Some people I've seen have said leave him as, as an impact sub, but I think we've got enough talent on the bench anyway to start Grealish and still have good impact subs. I mean, Sancho's only played what eight minutes of this tournament altogether for England, and. He's got 16 goals, 20 assists this season in all competitions. So I think we have to find a way to get Grealish onto the pitch. At halftime, Alan Shearer was saying we need more players like Bukayo Saka to run at them, run with the ball, take players on. And we, we saw that from, the, in, from Sterling in the second half. We did see more of that. But we have those players on the bench and that's what's going to win us the games. That's what's going to win us the games. We look comfortable in possession. But at times we weren't quick enough on the ball and when running with the ball, you know. At times we, we take a couple of touches and, and pass it instead of 
running with it. Our attacking players should run with it and run at them. And every time we ran at Germany, every time we ran at that back line, which was exposed a lot of the time, we caused trouble. Sterling had a, a couple of good runs at them, got fouled and um, created that chance for Harry Kane, which he should have scored on his left foot. Harry Kane in the next game, if he gets that chance, by the way, he scores it now that he's got a goal. The only reason he didn't score it because was because he hadn't had a goal, was a bit short on confidence and stuff like that. But now he scores that. We need to run at teams. Our talent, our attacking talent has to run at teams. We have to be powerful and forceful and take risks. Take risks, run with the ball. And I think we will see more of that as the tournament progresses. And against the Ukraine, I do expect us to win. I'd expect them to blitz them really. And it would be very, very nice for us to blitz them. Get, we've only scored three goals in four, no, four goals in four games, sorry, this tournament so far. If we can put three, four, maybe even five past the Ukraine, which we have the talent to, and we should. If we're being completely honest, we should. We should. If you look at the teams on paper, we should. But the game isn't played on paper. It's played on grass. We should put three or four or five past Ukraine, get the confidence up, go into the semi-final off the back of a big win, um, and hopefully go from there. But I expect us to beat Ukraine. My prediction is 3-0 England. 3-0 England, decent, into the semi-final, and then we can go on to the final. But the fact that we have beaten Germany, a very, very strong German side, by the way. Do not underestimate how big this is. Not only for the history of England, but for the confidence of these for these players. After that result against Scotland, after that performance against Scotland, I imagine confidence would have been rock bottom for that side. Now they've just beaten Germany 2-0, convincingly beaten Germany. I, their confidence is sky high and I, I can't wait for Saturday to see how well we play. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. Do you think England are going to beat Ukraine? Do you think football is coming home? Let me know what you thought of the game um, against Germany. What needs to change? What did Southgate do well? Um, yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you very, very soon for another video on this channel. Stick around, subscribe if you are new around here. Follow me on Twitch down in the link below. That's where we watch all the games pretty much. And we play COD and have a great time. Instagram to keep up to date with my life. Twitter to see my blabbering tweets, which are very, very good. Um, and subscribe to all my other channels. And yeah, thanks for watching. A very nice rest of your day. England beat Germany. It's bloody coming home. Come on, boys. Goodbye.